Hey there, Tim here. Not sure if you can if I'm getting on the camera here or not. I'm at the mobile, the trailer, the hundred dollar rehab. Gonna show you guys something here. There's a leak underneath the bathroom somewhere, they said. And I'm gonna try and move this phone and bring it back to right where it is. But this in the wall here, this hole's cut out. It's got like, I guess an old shower curtain maybe that is shoved in there. I thought it was plastic bags, but I finally got the lights working in here. And this hose here comes up and around the wall and in through the shower here. And that's our shower head right there. Jimmy rigged in to the back side or at the side of the shower, but the back side of the plumbing of the shower. And I'm kind of thinking, let me adjust this camera a little better. I'm kind of thinking that this could be where the leak's coming from. I don't know. I got my, I don't want to touch anything gloves on. I'm hot, I'm sweaty. Oh, not much there. I thought it was going to be shoved in there a little harder. Um, since the water is not on, I can't really tell. I just can't for the life of me think of why in the world they would run that out of the back and not through the front. Um, well, I can tell you why. Because the shower head is actually up here. I, I'm stumped on this one. I do not know why they did that. And judging from this wood, Yes, I'm actually going to touch it. I didn't know what I was going to be getting into pulling whatever that was out. It doesn't feel moist, but then again, they have not had the water on in like at least a month now. So, okay. I can't tell what that is then. I was, I was hoping to feel some moisture, but that's all got to be pulled out. Because when you come around here, uh, that's the two faucets. This comes out of the middle like... I wonder if they use the plumbing for a freaking bathtub. Because if you look at if you look at that, I don't know how well you can see it. There's not a light above here. That's that's their setup, and this is the actual shower head where it should go. So it's plumbed in somewhere back there. I'll find out when I rip it all apart. I brought it brought a whole new shower head kit with me. I'm not gonna hook it up tonight. It's too it is way too hot in here. I gotta get some window units running out here. It is so humid. Uh and this window here, this is the window in the bathroom. This seems pretty solid where the where the throne is. And I'm like, there's a curtain. So there it is. I thought they had a staple. It was it, some kind of staple. Uh, there's an air conditioner. I just yanked this whole thing out. I don't really care. There's soap on the tub, so I guess they were using. There's an actual window there. And they've got an air conditioner that apparently probably doesn't work. Um, they got it like all cocked up on the outside. Has a clean filter. It's dirty in the front, but the filter looks like it was cleaned recently. I don't care. All I know is it's hot. Hot, hot, hot. There's there's a litter box. I actually have a selfie stick. I just wish I... Whoa, whoa, there's holes. I wish I could um flip the camera. Instead, i got to turn it around. Okay, they've got an AC unit here in the window. He said this one was, this one here is fairly new. It's not a very expensive one, but there's no outlet here. Oh, there's one way over here. I wonder if that would have been the one they used, because I think I turned power onto this room. Oh, it fired right up, so. Max cool. Oh yeah, it's coming out cold. Cold, cold. Um, but there's a big giant gap in the <laughs> the windows. Okay, there's a storm window, but still, when you go down there, you can reach. Nope, there's a okay. There's a window. There's a storm window. Okay, okay. I thought I'm trying to get it to focus. I guess it's too bright. Well, better. I have a lot of sweat on my head. Better filming coming real soon because I just got a new camera today, and I uh, I'm gonna go home and cool off and uh, figure out how to use it. It's not a GoPro. It's a DZI Osmo. It was supposed to be the GoPro killer. 
or destroyer. No, the word was destroyer. GoPro destroyer. So I'm going to figure out. I hope this is aimed up at my, oh, I'm, you know what? I'm probably looking at the wrong side for the camera. I sure have been. I've been looking over there for the camera. I really don't know how close it is to my face. But no, hopefully I'll be able to film a little better. Um, I actually have tripods for that. Actually, a tripod right there. That's actually what I, I didn't feel like learning how to use it because this is, it, it'll screw right, right into that new camera. I got it on off Marketplace. I got a really good deal on it. You know, if I got it, it's a good deal. And it's a good product. Now, eventually, I got to go back home and load up some stuff. I'm looking for the light switch to turn this off with. I found it in the breaker box. Oh, is this it? Ooh, there we go. Now, there's a light on in the hallway. Well, how, in the, how did you turn that off? Right there. I'll turn that off, whatever that is. That light switch is off. I've been trying to figure out how to turn on a... Oh, the ceiling fan works. It's disgusting, but hey, it's moving air. And the smell is getting better. I still I haven't made it back out here to clean up that floor better. I was waiting around my house too long trying to get um, some good catering orders for tomorrow so I can help fund this, but unfortunately they didn't send me anything good. I got, I'm in a, I got a $35 order, but I got plenty of packing to do. That light up here in the... Uh, We'll call it the breakfast nook overhang. I have no idea what that is, but that light works. This, that light switch was probably the ceiling fan, I'm guessing. Yeah, it's slowing down. Oh, what do these switches do? Yeah, I didn't see anything come on with that. I didn't see anything come on with that. I did see they got a good breaker for the dryer and the... Uh, uh, 30 amp breaker for the uh, dryer, 30 amp breaker for the water heater, um, another 20 amp breaker for the wash machine. So the, uh, I just wish there was one for down here where the stove's gonna go. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put the stove back there. What I hate is it's going to uh, this part of the cabinets. I'm gonna pretty much lose that down there. That, that access, just like there, they didn't have a cabinet door or anything on it. It was wide open when I moved the stove out. And I don't like that. So I will have, if not a cabinet, I'll have something there to box it in to keep it away from the, separate from the side of the stove. I'll do things a little different than Duke did back when they manufactured this. These are, these are original cabinets from 1981. I've been doing some research. I found a 1983 Duke model that had a rehab uh, this wall was not there that over that nook thing hanging down I didn't see that in theirs But the layout of the kitchen in this room with all these windows was identical and they left all the windows in that one And I'm not sure I liked it and they had carpet coming out To somewhere around here and then an angle it, it cut at an angle. I wish I could see my whole hand there And then it was uh, I think pergo or laminate of some kind up here the rest of the way I'm counting outlets because there's, there's an outlet on the wall there. There's also one right down there. There's another one right over there. And in this wall, there's they're, they're in weird places, but these, these mobiles, man, I get a lot of whitewash. There's one right there up high off the floor. Yeah, I don't know why I'm getting all the whitewash. Um, there's another one there. That looks like old phone stuff. I won't need landline stuff. And <laughs> one of these things, it should be pretty much illegal. If you can see it, why am I getting all this whitewash? Huh. I don't know. I'll be eliminating that to another outlet over there. It looks like they char it looks like charcoal came out of it. Something arced in there. I'll be replacing all the all the receptacles. Make sure they're all grounded. And uh, in the kitchen, I want to make sure they're all GFCI. Uh, and I'd actually like to run probably about four circuits to the kitchen separate on all these outlets so everything's on their own circuit so if I put in an air fryer on one and I got the instant pot pressure cooker going in another one I'm not blowing a breaker every time I want to cook a dinner because I like my air fryer and I like my instant pot, pot, instant pot pressure cooker they make awesome 
roast like corned beef and stuff like that but yeah i was wanting to show you guys something with the bathroom i was hoping to find a leak right there and obviously not till next time i'll be getting some work started soon and uh i'll be filming that i'll probably uh, time lapse it it is warm am i still whitewashed not so bad down here i think it's from me walking past the door because i got the door open and the sun's bright out there because as soon as i get down here that made a difference but then all these windows down here it's not really that bright but geez yeah there's that plug i was trying to see how far up it's like four foot off the floor and then uh this thing down here you still can't see it i need to put some blinds up on that side or something anywho i'm gonna quit sweating and get out of here you guys have a great evening great yes rest of your day whenever i get this posted and also the reason i have all the cleaning supplies somebody had put in the comments on the last video i said we're worried about getting this rug up and stuff and uh all that uh, i have to kill the smell first i got to get the smell out of here and that's going to come from that stuff right there i gotta get a broom out here for that um a piece of junk broom that i'm just going to throw away because after i sweep up that filth it's that broom's going to stink and then i want to rip all this I want to clean this old ass uh, uh, vinyl, linoleum, whatever the heck it is up. Those peeling sticks, get them all out of here. Get the smell out of here. Um, I just don't want to rip the subfloor up just yet because I want to start down there, ripping the subfloor up or uh, get the stink out of here. I got to make this thing somewhat livable very quick because I was going to go to an extended stay hotel, but they changed their rates and now they're $100 more a week. But you know, that's an extra 400 a month. <laughs> so I may rip this floor up right away in the, we'll call it the master, the master bedroom. Oh my gosh, I didn't notice there's purple in here too. Boy, they must have caught, got caught a sale on that purple paint. But I may get this room all flipped around and livable it looks like there's a leak up there you can't see it on the camera i don't there's no light in the closet not yet i will put a light in there i like a light in the closet yeah i kind of want to get this bedroom knocked out and uh, also some people in the comments were talking about you know the bathtub and stuff i'm gonna take that bathtub out but what i want to try and do because this i want to make this this uh there got a little light on this tub area i want to make this i mean this is a lot of space this is a lot of space. I'm trying to get back the gate so you guys can gauge this. It is not your normal size tub. Um, so this would make a great laundry room. And that half wall, I'll take that all the way up to the ceiling. And uh, put the washer and dryer back here. It's perfect width for it. And I want to, on this, let's see, to give you an idea, because it's hard to see on this camera. Okay, we're on the left side of the bathtub here. And the breaker box is on the opposite side, opposite side of that wall. Well. When I make this the laundry room, I want to flip this eyesore. Whoa, my, my board's chipping. This eyesore, I want to flip it over on the utility side where the washer and dryer is going to be and not right in, you know, the master bedroom. Just my idea. I'm not going to do that myself. I will actually hire an electrician to do that. Um, I'll get him a new, I want to upgrade it to a 200, 200 amp service anyway. So I get the new box and let him come wire it all around and flip it, whatever. I prep the wall and get it ready for him. It won't take him long, that's for sure. But that's that's a project for another day. It is so humid, so humid. But I'm out. We'll see you guys. Take care and thanks for walking, watching. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Share this if you like. I need more viewers the better. I want to see if somehow I can get some. Uh, some sponsors out of like I don't know a plywood company something to help me offset some of these costs uh, not sure if that'll ever happen because I'm such a small nobody on YouTube but we'll see we'll see if I gotta figure out how to stop this thing with my gloves on it won't let me <laughs> it's gonna get jiggly because I'm taking a glove off gig wise out peace